welcome back. And uh, this will be the last update before Christmas, seeing that it's tomorrow night or tomorrow. Uh, so on Tuesday, I started working on uh, this part, which is the nose of the aircraft. And here you can see basically what the part is. And then there it is with all the flanges placed on it and all the holes filled in. So um, on Tuesday evening, I started doing the roughing cut for that. And I knew I could only run about half of it because it was going to step down to a point where it was so steep on the sides there that the actual machine was going to probably collide with it. So I basically only had it run half of it. And so this is on uh, yesterday morning. It was I had started running the rest of it. In fact, it did actually collide with it on the side, and you'll see that in a minute, but not a big deal. It just made a little indentation in the foam. There, actually, you can kind of see it there. There's a little bit of a mess up there on the left side of the of view. But anyway, there was a lot of foam that needed to be milled off of this part. So it took, uh, really took the most part of yesterday and obviously the, the evening before t just to do the roughing cut. Now, meanwhile, yesterday morning, uh, we were working on, uh, all four of us were working on glassing the last four parts that I created. And those are the two intakes, uh, two, the two plugs for the intakes. And then uh, the other one that we had is a small one here. That's a brace that goes uh, up by the rear pressure wall. And then lastly is the rear pressure wall that I finished milling um, just the other day. And so that one has that blue tinge from the paint on it, but it now has a coat of glass on it. So a little a quick sanding and that'll be ready uh, to have the putty sprayed on it and then back in the mill again. So yeah, the guys really worked hard yesterday morning. We rocked that out. So here we are uh, running the f starting the finish cuts now on the nose and actually I tweaked the machine and was able to get another 10 degrees um, out of the B axis which is the last rotational axis so now I can actually mill uphill and I think there's actually more in the machine if we need to mill more but yeah this is actually that face is sort of pointing sort of downwards so having to mill it from kind of like underneath which is nice to be able to do that now and uh, here it's uh, working on cutting out the uh, where the baggage door or nose baggage door opening is going to be and ultimately on the part once the part is pulled from the mold of this that will be cut out and we'll just have the little flanges on it um, where the door sort of mates up to that so uh, yeah the mill's actually running really great now that I've uh, sorted out the z-axis and got rid of that movement and so we're just getting a really nice finish out of it I can run it faster than I could before and uh, it's just everything's running really smooth with it uh, here I switched over to the smaller bit because I didn't need to uh, have the long one again for these sort of passes so this is the bottom edge of that part right above the joggle and the joggle is just kind of like a little flange um, that sort of meets up with the lower half of the fuselage but this is the bottom edge of the actual nose itself and uh, yeah the mill's just getting us a, a real nice finish here and uh, really happy with it, how things are going along with it right now. So here you can see it's just running around the actual nose, around the pointy bit. And uh, it's nice to see finally we're creating a part that looks a little bit like an airplane. Because up till now everything else has looked like nothing and then the lower half looked like a boat. <laughs> Uh, here it is running the right hand side the lower edge again of the nose and again just doing the face cut so it's starting to look like something and then now we're just finishing off and this is the joggle so the, the little indentation that meets up with the lower half of the fuselage and I'll switch to the ball end now so I can mill this kind of on an angle and there's the finished part so or well, the finished plug so it really kind of looks like the nose of the aircraft now and you can see the baggage door cut out there and also the little cut out where the uh, where the uh, four plane uh, will be at least the front half of the four plane and then of course you can see where that collision was and we'll fix that before we fiberglass it and so this is what it looks like from inside the cabin. Uh, obviously, you won't be able to stick your head up quite this high because your head would be through the windshield. But just to give you an idea of, you know, how much that nose sort of disappears 
when you're sitting there. So this right now, this is the view that you'll have if you're sitting in the right seat. So you have great visibility. Anyway, until next time, Merry Christmas.